Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video on the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about gotcha games. We're going to be talking about my thoughts on the current gotcha games that are out right now. Um, what I plan on playing, what I plan on not playing, what I have been playing, what I've been doing. So let's start real quick with Wuthering Waves. Now Wuthering Waves hit my channel pretty big um, in a way where I made a ton of videos on it, but it was very, very obvious that my Community really did not care for the Weathering Waves videos that much. They, on average, did uh, performed significantly well under any Honkai Star Rail video that I do. Um, and that's okay. That's okay because I was enjoying the game. I'm not saying that that's not why I, that's why I stopped playing the game. That's why I stopped making content about the game. That's actually not it at all. It's because um, after the first few weeks or so of playing the game it was about i'd say week three or whatever it is um about a week out from the patch that uh from the big patch that hit or maybe maybe it was like a week and a half or so before the big patch hit of a uh, 1.1 um i just stopped playing and it was because i would say with honkai star rail when i'm really not in the mood to play honkai star rail I can at least log in um, each day or each few days and just set my characters to auto battle, let them do their thing while I'm doing something else, while I'm at work, um, whatever. And they'll do the farming, they'll do whatever, they'll do whatever I told them to do, they'll farm for gear. Um, and then I close out the game. And I've spent my energy for about 10 seconds of my personal time. And whenever I'm not into a game, I feel like that's about all I can do. Something in my blur something in my brain just flips off and says, if I'm not into a game, I don't want to play it for another second. Like I, I really don't. And every second is kind of painful. It's it's like dragging. It, it it's whatever. It feels it just feels bad. It feels boring, is what I would say. Um, and with Weathering Waves, Weathering Waves honestly did reach that point. And I do think that this was affected a little bit by the move. I missed a few days of doing dailies by the move. And my account in Honkai Star Rail is at the point where I am good. I am chilling. Right? If I miss a day, whatever. If I miss two days, whatever. There's also the overflow system. I'm not missing out 100% of my stuff. But in Weathering Waves, there's no overflow system yet to capture all the energy than uh, or at least most of the energy that I'm not spending right there uh, so I'm actually just straight up missing it on top of that I haven't quote unquote beat the game I'm not at the max union level I haven't beat all the content in the game all the hardest content I actually was barely even close um, to that kind of stuff and mostly because I was just having so much fun with everything else and exploring and whatnot that I wasn't really pushing it yet but even then now it's at the point where I've missed a few events. I've missed double echo drop events. Um, I've missed many, many days of my daily farming and my daily grind. And it, like I was saying, it, it's not as painful in Honkai Star Rail because I've beat the game. All right, it doesn't matter if I miss a few days because I know whenever I come back, I've still already beat the game. Like, there's a few pieces of content that I haven't completed yet completely, like Golden Gears, but that's not a requirement. I can get there whenever I want to get there. And to be honest, I have been feeling a little bit lately like I do want to get there, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Othering Waves is one of those things where I have to log in and do my dailies. It only takes about 10 minutes, but that 10 minutes is genuinely, or maybe even five minutes, let's be more generous, um, five minutes, but that is five minutes actively playing, actively tapping on my screen. and. For a game that's not auto battle, for a game that's action combat and whatnot, it is painful. It is a dredge to do that stuff on mobile, right? And it's not every day that I want to log in onto my PC and do this kind of stuff. It's the kind of stuff where whenever I'm opening at work, right, it's something I want to have auto battling. And that's what I do with Honkai Star Rail all the time. Um, it, it just became such a drag. I literally still haven't updated the game from like three patches plus before 1.1 even came out. And I'm only probably going to do that now after this video and jump in and see what 1.1 has to offer, which I believe I'll probably stream. All right, so that's five minutes about yapping about 
Weathering Waves and kind of a little bit of Honkai Star Rail. Now let's talk about Honkai Star Rail, right? Honkai Star Rail, um, Firefly released, and by far, by far, thematically, Sam, such badass robot, the way she plays, I love Break Effect. Um, I think it's one of the coolest mechanics the game has ever had. I, I think that Firefly is overall, holistically, the best gotcha game character I have ever played with in any gotcha game that I have ever played. I've played Raid Shadow Legends. I've played uh, HSR. Uh, I played Genshin for for like an hour and 45 minutes. Let's not talk about that. That doesn't count. That doesn't count, genuinely. That doesn't count. I was just saying that as a joke. Um, in Weathering Waves, I've played that. Um, I, I would say, genu and I've played like a bunch of other ones. Like I've played uh, Dragonair, Silent Gods, um, before I realized that the resets would happen. I've played AFK Journey. I played that quite a bit. I even played it for the channel a few times. Um, overall, overall, Firefly is the best gotcha character I have ever played with. She, everything about her, everything, like her design, her gameplay, her feel, her everything looks, looks and feels so good. I love her ability that you use in the open world where you just jump up. And you like fly over everything and you like get like double speed for like 10 full seconds. Then you rain down and, and you like break every breakable and also kill every enemy unit or, or like jump in on the attack of every enemy unit while also putting fire damage on every unit. It honestly feels like I'm hacking, like I'm cheating in that amount of power. And she's not even E1. She's E0 with, uh, with her light cone. I tried. <laughs> I tried to get her even stronger. You guys can see that those are the worst gotcha pulls I've ever done. Worst got worst luck I've ever had. Lost on the light cone, lost on the character. So I didn't get to E1 her and I didn't get to get Ruan May's light cone because I went for Ruan May's light cone because I already had Firefly in her light cone just because I wanted my Firefly team to get stronger through Ruan May. And Ruan May is already one of my favorite characters and has been since I pulled for her. But yeah. I would say Firefly is amazing. She's incredible. She makes me want to play Honkai Star Rail. The new mode that they released, uh, the Divergent Universe, it's like a, another building on Simulated Universe, which is amazing, and it lets you farm your um, Simulated Universe uh, orb and spheres faster. I, I love it. That is, a, that is something that the game has needed for so long, and now I can farm, instead of having to do an entire run of Simulated Universe, it literally takes me a, a less than two minute combat to, to do, which by the way, my character's auto battle, of course, so I can farm without even thinking about it. Even if I'm not enjoying the game, I don't have to actively force myself to play it just so that I don't miss out on things. Right. And I do have FOMO. All right. I do have FOMO, which is probably a bad thing for somebody who is a gotcha content creator, right? You should probably try and lower the amount of FOMO you feel. But I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, I do. And I explained whenever I was talking about Woo Wah why it doesn't affect me that much in Honkai Star Rail, but it really did affect my outlook on Woo Wah. Anyway, yeah. Overall, I would say I want to get back into Honkai Star Rail in a pretty big way. I want to update a lot of my old tier lists, so you, you guys can definitely 100% guaranteed expect that to come. I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm going to do a character tier list, waifu tier list, uh, husbando tier list. Um, we're going, we're going the whole nine. All right. We're doing it all. Um, and we're also going to make other videos. All right. Now, Zenless Zone Zero. Now, I'm sure one would have expected me to go crazy on Zenless Zone Zero, even if there was a chance that it, it flopped in the kind of way that, Weathering Waves did for my channel. And yes, I, I, it makes sense for this to happen. Unfortunately, I have just felt no pull. No pull at all towards this game. And I wasn't going to drag my balls over nails to play it just because I have a YouTube channel. And that's probably the wrong outlook, right? If I want to make it, if I want to, if I want to make it, in this content creation space, and I'm primarily a gotcha content creator, 
I should really just pull myself up by my bootstraps. I don't give a fuck if you're going to like it or not. Play it for at least a day. Make at least five videos or something on the game. And I should have, but I didn't. And I've accepted now that I didn't. And honestly, I do feel like I am going to try this game out. And I'm going, I plan on 100% doing that. I'm going to do it on stream one of these days. Um, but yeah, it's something that I want to do. Those are my thoughts on the current gotcha games, the state of gotcha games, the state of my channel. Um, in regards to those games, it's just one of those things where, in general, I haven't been as into gotcha games in the moment. And I've been into a lot of a big variety of games, and that's what I've been streaming on my Twitch. And I'm going to continue doing that. But as well, I am probably going to come back to some of my gotcha games and try the new ones. So, I appreciate y'all for watching this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Peace.